up, guys. Today's warm-up is two rounds, 20 pogo hops. Oh, my gosh. Uh, make sure you're bending quickly. You're not trying to land and then reset. Just bounce, 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 bounce. Then we have 15 walkouts with a scapular push-up. So you're going to get a nice stretch in those hamstrings. Walk it out. And then just retract your shoulder blades. Blah, 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 blah. What? Back in place? Yeah. Yeah. Walk out. Getting those shoulders nice and warm as well. And then, of course, your upper back, making sure that that's all nice and mobile. Next, we got 10 wall slides. Oh, yeah. Get some good mobility here with those shoulders, keeping your body on the wall. You want to get your arms above your head, starting at about a 90 degree position. Go as high as you can with keeping your arms on the wall. And then when they're about to come off, go ahead and bring them back down. And lastly, we have a calf stretch. So you can do this on the ground, on the wall, whatever you really want to do. Here, bend your knee, twist, find some good spots and get those calves nice and warm. Skill strength next. For the skill and strength today, we have four sets of a 20 second handstand hold and 10 uh, double release hand hand push-up, handstand push-up, double release push-up for your handstand hold. <laughs> Gonna get up on the wall, making sure you're keeping everything nice and tight, ass, ass, and quads, pushing that head through as well, and you're just going to hold it. Make sure those elbows are locked when you go up and overhead. 20 seconds, you can kick yourself back down. If you're not comfortable keep kicking up on the wall, you're going to do a wall walk, so you'll face down and walk up. Go as comfortable as you are. <laughs> Sorry, Ma, I gotta make you do more work. So if this is all you have, that's okay. Just make sure you're staying in a straight line as you're holding it. Next, we have the double hand release push-up. I have a question. What if you don't have a wall? If you don't have a wall, you can do a couple different things. You can put your feet on a chair or on a box, and that way you are then upside down. And if you really have nothing, which I'm sure you guys have a couch at home, I would hope, or a bed you can put your feet on, uh, then you would just do the top of um, a, a push-up. So top of a plank hold, essentially. If you don't got walls, you don't got a roof. <laughs> if you don't got walls, <laughs> we got other issues. How you got Wi-Fi? So here's your double hand release push-up. Pick uh, your hands up off the floor. Then you're going to explode and bring your hands off the wall at the bottom. All right, keeping everything in a straight line as well. If you need to go to your knees, that is fine. Even if you're just trying to push yourself off the wall and you're not really getting any air under your hands, that is fine. Just really think about exploding as you push through the floor and also keep those elbows in nice and tight as we always do. Don't let them flail out. Workout's next. Today's workout is pretty simple. We have an 18 minute AMRAP, EMOM, sorry, 18 minute EMOM of 14 double unders and seven V ups. <laughs> Good Lord. Your uh, double under, I'm going to take a step back here, twice under. If you do not have your doubles, you can negotiate practicing those double unders or you can just do singles. It'll be 14 singles for a time. Um, purposes since this is an EMOM and not an AMRAP. And then we have the V-ups. And you're going to fold in half, touch your toes with your hands, hands and feet still touch the floor after every time you come together. If uh, you can't do this, you can start with a little bent knee um, if you don't have the mobility. And then if you can't do that, then you're going to just bring both up a little bit. And if that doesn't work, then you can go to a sit-up or a leg lift, one of the two. Um, but do your best to try to get both ends off the ground, even if that means you're just bending and coming in a little bit. Write your scores below, and we'll see you guys.